takes 10 minutes, is good for people who don't stand out, and involves a small envelope. <sighs> Does that ring any bells? It's something the Mafia would definitely be up to. Drug runners. Like illegal drugs? Yeah, opium. Maybe they made Ida smuggle drugs for them. Yeah. That definitely fits with a small envelope. And you can get arrested just for possession. Yup. Did you meet Nishiyama? Well, I looked into Ida on my own anyway. Remember, hasn't he got involved in some kind of suspicious part-time job? And that, and that job's apparently totally insane. Sometimes about something about trafficking drugs, I think. Here they ask you to take part in, in it downtown, down on Central Street, in broad daylight even. So he is smuggling. This won't be pretty. Come on, let's go back to Lady On. We'll ask Ida directly. All right, hold on. Let me return this book, though. <sighs> God dang it! Man. This one. <sighs> What's hmm? wrong? It's nothing. I was just looking at By the, the way. Nice. Hmm. See you. Actually. Wait, you uh, for your sake, I hope you better. Because if you don't, can't do this. Well, might have to cut you. Ah, oh. cut her. <laughs> Tell us the truth. Uh, Manzuki? Come on, you two. I already told you I don't know. Is that so? Because Nishiyama just told Did? me everything. Bastard! Damn it! Watch your damn language. <laughs> Shit. Well, if you already know about it, fine. I don't want to talk about it here. Let's go somewhere a little quieter. What's up with you? Especially in front of everyone. Yeah, I got a job. So what? Isn't that normal? What are you getting at? You're a drug smuggler. How did you... I've only told one person about that. Of all people. I can't believe you were the one to find out. You're right. They told me they had an easy part-time job for me, and I ended up smuggling drugs. All I had to do was put envelopes into coin lockers, and they said they'd give me a hefty paycheck. I didn't know what was in the envelopes, though. Still, this is what came out of it. Being threatened? So you knew, huh? They started threatening me right after they deposited the money into my bank account. They had pictures of me carrying the goods. They said they'd expose what I did unless I paid them off. You know? Why are you even asking me this stuff? Are you just gonna use my job to blackmail me, too? Never. I see. Well... Even if you were planning on doing that, I don't have any money I could give you. If you're really interested in that job, try heading over to Central Street. That's where they told me about it. I, I told you everything you want to know, right? Can I go? Well then. <sighs> How'd it go? Yon's acting help at all? I'm thinking probably not. It went perfectly, I think. More importantly, were you able to find anything, Rinji? Yes, drugs. So that you ask you to deliver drugs. It's serious. I searched. I just searched for Shibuya drugs and got tons of hits too. So they're making people traffic drugs and threatening them. It must be what I heard. People it must be what I heard people talking about in Shibuya. They seem to be going about this quite openly during the daytime. What bold methodology! I would imagine they would do it at night. I wonder why they chose the daytime. They go for high schoolers. I see. Yes, more students will be out during the day, while, pe while the police will be more cautious at night. Ryuji, you're over in Shibuya now, right? Do you see anyone like that there? Yeah, I'm at Central Street. It's tough to tell, though. 
and there's just way too many people. The goddamn rain's not helping out either. The sun will be setting soon. What should we do, Richie? Let's do this tomorrow. Yeah, it seems like our only choice now. We can split up and search separately then. In any case, we have some new intel. Let us call that progress for today. Whoever asks us to take on that job should know who their boss is, too. Alright, I'll get in touch with you guys later tonight and we can come up with a plan. And pressing the plot button, pressing the plot button. Ugh. <sighs> oh. But I actually had a customer, but it's just you. I never get many customers when it rains. The cash register's gonna run dry at this rate. We have to find them tomorrow for sure. This is the only way, uh, this is the only lead we have right now. Yes, it's highly likely that, uh, that this part time uh, solicitor is somehow related to the mafia. If we tail him, we may lead us straight back to his boss. He talked to Yida and Nishiyama over at Central Street, right? Indeed. It seems that this is where our target waits. Then who should be the one to go? Leave it to me. Yeah, it's probably the best idea. I want to stand out too much. I'll take that as a compliment. I have no projections. I'll leave this to you, Ridge. Tricking people and using that as blackmail. These bastards are true cowards. It's kind of scary to think people like that are all around us in this city. Well, guys, we gotta brace ourselves. We're up against a serious criminal here. I do want to try. Please don't take off my mask. Revealing dark. Yeah, I want to call her. Shit. Call her right though, Mom. Oh. Hi. This is Becky. Thanks for calling me on this rainy day. Uh, uh, hold on. It's you. I barely get any customers on rainy days. As long as you request me, I'll do your housework for 5,000 yen. Hey! Then I'll head over! Okay, I'll get dropped off from the store then. Please clean up your room and wait for me. Oh, my bond's not gonna strengthen. That's Thank fine. you for using our service! So humid. It's so stuffy in this bag. Now for today's train news. Today's headlines are Shady Drug Deals in Shibuya is the same organization behind both this and the excursions. Alongside the fishing scams that have been on the rise, this may be their source of funding. Restaurant Factory Fire. A worker from the restaurant giant Haneruya was arrested for arson. Though he admits to the charges, he claims to not know why he did it. This industry is raising eyebrows. Mm. Something weird happened in food service before. Some employee could be naked. What the hell? Wait a second. I think I. N hmm. I'm not gonna say. I don't get it. I saw Nijim arguing with the principal about the mafia or something. What was all that? What was that all about? I heard her older sister is involved with the investigation. Maybe she's trying to play detective too. Are you kidding me? I can't handle a student council president with no, with no focus. Okay, we're all here. There sure are a lot of high schoolers during the day. <sighs> they must be targeting them somehow. Finding the specifics may be difficult. With such a crowd, the odds are against us. We have to do this. Right, we're gonna grab him by the tail. You should head over to Central Street, like we planned yesterday. Roger. Sweet, let's get going. Let me know if you find any shady people. Will do. All right, let's go. Just as we planned. We might end up running into the Mafia. Be ready for anything. Aren't you interested in all the hottest brand names? 
We're having a special sale just over there. How about you go take a peek? We ordered way too much, so I have a ton left over. My boss will kill me if I go back to him with all these extras. Look, I'll sell them to you for cheap. What do you say? What should we do? It depends on the price, wouldn't you say? Hey, what about you? These are unforgettable deals. I'm busy. Well, that's disappointing. Come back if you change your mind. Come on, the shop's right around here. How about you come take a look? Seems like some kind of sale. You probably shouldn't bother. I walked past her at the station. Is she keeping an eye on us? Maybe. I guess she's curious about all of this. Let's just ignore her. She's not getting in our way. More importantly, how are things on you guys' end? Nothing so far. I'm going to try stalking out the underground walkway. And I'll check out around, check around the Inogami line. I guess I'll get there from the underground. And we'll gather some more intel in the underground shopping mall as well. Please continue yeah. on your Everyone's really going about this seriously. They're definitely worthy of being phantom thieves. We can't fall behind either. Let's look for that homeless man. That scary look in your face. If you have something to say to me, just say it. You want a part-time job. Part-time job? I'm talking about some ordinary job, huh? Take my advice. Don't do it. They'll squeeze every last penny out of you with threats and extortion. Some of my friends have fallen victim to their schemes. That mafia is evil, I tell you. How do you know I meet them? They'll come to you eventually if you walk around this area now. But just so you know how to avoid. I'll teach you how to tell them apart from normal people. Use some weird phrases, code words, you know. That's how they communicate with each other. Anyway, watch out if you hear any of that stuff. They'll try to come for you even during the day. They're relentless when it comes to targeting teens. How's it going? Have you found anything? Maybe a little. I'll oh, see, so you grabbed something already. That's to be expected of someone like you, Richard. Why don't we just go over the intel we gathered so far? I'll start. Supposedly, some guy near the access way is talking about some kind of strong drugs. I'm not counting on anything, but I'll go check it out. As for me, I heard about someone soliciting a high-paying job in the station pizza. Station Plaza. Apparently, they are mostly targeting girls. I'll go see what that's about. On my end, I heard there are people saying strange things in the back alley near the arcade. Something about ice and vegetables, and something about snow tomorrow. 
I will go observe just in case. That arcade is on Central Street, correct? All right. We should do what we can to help them out. I have no idea which of these leads are real. Try going to the most suspicious sounding place. Any progress toward finding the boss? Things are going well. That's good to hear. Hey, you two got some time? I have a great job for you. It's real easy. Guess you could call it a delivery job. It seems we didn't have to look very hard in the end. You're high schoolers, yeah? Don't you want something more than just your allowances? By delivery, do you mean that of suspicious materials? Huh, you're a funny girl. So, you won't answer me. Then I was right. Eh? What's up with you anyways? Why are you asking all these questions, huh? Making statements, assuming? No. Silence isn't the answer, bro. Oh. It was all a joke. Why would I get worked up over some dumb kids? Anyways, I can't hang. See ya. Um, if you don't want to deal with us, we could always go see your boss ourselves. You really gonna say that, knowing who he is? <sighs> no way I believe that. Well, I'm out of here. You guys are annoying me. 
I'm pretty sure he's part of the mafia we're looking for. Let's go after him. I think we should get some proof before we do that. I tried to trick him into saying something, but he dodged all the traps I was laying down. By the way, thanks for standing up for me. I I'm going to go now. Later. That boss seems tricky. And it looks like he taught his subordinates well, too. No wonder the police are having trouble catching him. Anyway, you have some serious guts. You didn't back down at all against that hooligan. Though we still didn't end up with any new information. Let's stop here for today. All right. How about it? Want to meet up? Let's do it. You think it's safe enough? We did ask tons of people, so there's a chance we're getting followed. Just to be safe, we should refrain from doing anything to make ourselves stand out. The sun will be setting soon, so let us disband for today and report our findings tomorrow. Why don't we meet at karaoke tomorrow? We can talk in private and it'll be cheap after school. Ah, that must be, that must be what they call a hustle hour. Dude, it's muscle hour. What is wrong with- wait, was that wrong too? Um, hello? Happy hour? Muscle hour just sounds sweaty. Anyway, see you guys at karaoke tomorrow. And the plot, the plot, the plot, the plot. I'm sorry. It's an unknown number. Hello, this is Nijima. Makoto Nijima. Thanks for earlier. I, get my number. I dug it up. I realize I'm apologizing after the fact, but it just didn't feel right keeping it from you, so that's all. Bye. I'm searching huh. all along. <laughs> you talking to a woman? I heard her voice. Speaking of, some girl called looking for you around noon. Said she's the class president. Said she's got something that belongs to you. She seemed to know you, so I gave her your number. What the f She must have looked up LeBlanc's address trying to contact you. Jesus that Christ. Nijima sure is thorough. Then again, she called you just to apologize. It's a bit weird, but maybe she's not so bad after all. Uh, maybe. Sojiro, Iwai... What else should I do? Don't take off my mask. Uh. Hmm. What do I want to do? Yeah, let's take with Sojiro. You got time right now? All right then. So, we meet again. My what murky weather we're having. Yeah. Speaking of murky, there haven't been any new developments in the Phantom Thief incidents. If they go so far as using calling cards to get attention, I doubt Madarame's case will be the last. What kind of target will they choose next? What do you think? Criminal, I would think. The Phantom Thieves only target criminals, huh? Is that really true? Supposing it is, there are plenty of villains in the world. How do they choose who to go after? Hmm. Oh, sorry. I'm getting lost in my own head. I have to stay on top of any Phantom Thieves' activity due to what I said on the air. 
If you hear any rumors at school, I hope you can let me know. Sure. After school. Ah, oh, for real? We didn't get anything? God, they suck. Ugh. Then we're going nowhere with this. Hey, can't we ask Miss President to change it up? You mean, change our target? Just gotta show our justice to satisfy her, right? There are tons of shitty adults in this world. It's not like it matters who we're going after. She says this is for the students, but I bet it's just so she can go brag about it on college apps. But that mafia is stealing money from kids. We can't just accept that. It doesn't matter who the target came from anymore. True. Ahn's right. We want to give courage to the weak. Isn't this the perfect target to accomplish that goal? They really have no talent. <laughs> Never thought it'd be this noisy if you weren't singing. Anyways, I'm sure we'll show to catch you up if we pull this off, but... That's exactly why we should do it. It all comes down to intel in the end. Agreed. If we don't start finding tips on that front, we'll never get any further than this. There has to be someone who has what we need. Hmm. What about the media? That's right! What about that journalist? You mean the woman who was staking out Matarame's house? Yeah, the same one. Oh, yeah! I completely forgot about her! Didn't she give you her card? Yep. It's for Carol Oya, a nice uh, newspaper. This is for a rather major publication. Think we can trust her? There's no other way. Basically. Okay, let's contact her. Oh, yes. Thank you. He says our time's up. Should we extend it? Happy hour's over, yeah? Ah, come on. Let's just go. <sighs> How wasteful. Uh <coughs> Bro, you good? <sighs> Anyways... So we just gotta wait for that journalist to email us back. Let us know ASAP when she responds. Got it? For sure. Hey. We're coming home late. Hope you're not sticking your nose in other people's business. Shut up. <sighs> she should suck or something. It's more like we're the ones being dragged into things. Oh, oh. The Sojiro and Kawakami are right now. We gotta. Oh! Yeah, we're calling Kawakami. Hi! Cook for me, babe. What? Hope you have a big appetite. I'm a Master! Did you enjoy the maid's cooking and together with the maid services I provided with the, today? The high-end cup noodles really do make a difference, don't they? <laughs> yeah, they do. <laughs> I thought you were remastered. They are pretty complicated, though. Just drain the hot water once and leave the sauce packet on the lid so it gets warm. Don't request me if you're going to complain. Besides, I thought I warned you already. Why would you request me again?
I was curious. Hmm, are you sure that's the real reason? Really the reason? Well, I guess I'm in no position to complain since I'm making money from it. <sighs> I'm so tired. We had a faculty meeting just the other day. Why do they have to last so long? Jeez. Thanks to the Phantom Thieves, the students have been really restless lately. The teachers can't agree on what to do about them or the Phantom Thieves. We should talk more about our bonus instead. I heard they might even cut the teacher's salary. I'm so sad of it. I mean, I'll request you more often. Really? I'll continue to serve you with all my might, Master. I'm going to be in trouble if I don't pick up more shits. Hello? What? How much? I, I can't. That, that's true. Sure. <sighs> yes, yes, I understand. Yes, it's all it's my responsibility after all. Oh, did you hear that? <laughs> Yeah, I'm a little behind on my sister's medical bills. You have a rough. Apparently it's some crazy incurable disease, so it's a lot of fees and extra charges. That's why it would really help if you requested me more. Never mind, you're my student. I can't keep relying on you. What am I gonna do? Anyway, it's time for me to go. Feel free to call me to do housework. It doesn't have to be through maid service, though. I live close by, so I can stop over whenever you need me. Besides, I'm worried that you can't cook or do laundry because you don't have any parents. If your friends suddenly come over, I can always leave out the back way. Rank 3. Laundry and brew coffee. Bet! All right. Uh. This isn't how it's supposed to go. In any case, I need to talk to my boss about giving me more shifts. I need to get requested more. Good night. Oh, is this Master? Thank you for using our service today. <laughs> Noodles? So she's black. She's struggling out here. I mean, hey, look, I can make it back. So, question me again sometime. Bye bye. I'm sorry, y'all. Just kind of hungry. Makoto. They were asking if you made any lifestyle changes recently. Huh? <sighs> I gave them a suitable enough answer, but. Is there some kind of issue at school? No, it's nothing. I'm sorry to worry you. Hey. Thought you would do such a thing, but try to avoid wandering around Shibuya late at night. There are stories of girls who are throwing their lives away out there. They're wrapped up in shady deals, blackmailing the sex work. rumors about that as well. People have been mentioning it at school. These aren't mere rumors. I know a few, a few such cases. Huh? <sighs> no 
there should be nothing for you to worry about. Just concentrate on your studies for now. <laughs> Unforgivable. It's ten days. We ain't gonna have much time, even that, even if we start right after she responds. This battle will have to be quick for you. you. Must also consider what we do in case she fails to respond entirely. Don't choose this. I'm really discussing all the possible outcomes. Aren't you nervous about this? Nervousness will not help us solve anything at this point. We're that the we're that the, we're that the solution to our problem. It would be much quicker to turn to panic. Oh, he's like some sort of kind of philosophy. I think he's just an it. Damn. <laughs> so rude. Nijima Senpai, aren't you going to help me? You said you would keep it a secret, but rumors have started getting out. Wait, you didn't leak that information, did you? Calm down. They're still targeting you? Even that delinquent found out. Wow. He might try and threaten me too. Why is this happening to me? I can't afford to keep paying. I, I found some clues regarding your incident. I just need you to wait a bit longer. You're really gonna help? Everyone thinks you're just doing it for a letter of recommendation. Damn. That is not true. My goal here is to protect the students of this school. Please, please hurry. Any word there? Oh! <laughs> <coughs> group of regulars in Shibuya seemed the one who posted about the brother as a student at my school. At some prodding, I was able to pry a few more details out of him. Wondering about that, it didn't sound like they had anything to do with the mafia we were chasing. Indeed, I was able to ascertain the brother's name Kazuya Makigami. It's freaking crazy that someone involved in that shit goes to your school. Nice going, Yusuke. You even found the name of the guy we're looking for. That was super awesome. Now do now is punish him in mementos. This burglar guy isn't gonna be near as scary as the Bafia. He's just a plain dude, right? We'll show him what being a fan of these is really about. Since we are unanimous then. We'll further discuss the details at the hideout. Mm. Have our target. Let's meet at the hideout. Start Yusuke's or I can rank up to Kemi's. Well first, we gonna return that dog on book. Is always full of people. It serves as the perfect spot for people watching. By the way, do you have any business here? 
didn't see you. Huh. <laughs> Listen, I'll wait both for free time if that is your decision. May I get a word in? I'd like to speak with you. Brinjit, do you have time? Let's talk. Yes. Do you remember how I mentioned my, my need to understand the heart? Well, having, well, I am having a hard time grasping it. How will I be able to reach the truth of pure beauty? Rinchi, what should I paint to capture the contents of the heart? Mementos. I see, mementos. The desire that emanates from the place that is, is, uh, the, is the root of humanity. Incredible. You honestly have a unique perspective on okay. this. Okay. With that destination in mind, let us make haste. Teeming with shadows, the physical embodiment of the desires of the human heart. The same thing which brought forth the beauty of the Sayuri can also create such morbid fabrications. But I actually find that aspect to be quite as fascinating. The heart is akin to an abyss. Now I, re now I am regarding the source of my slump, I actually have an idea. In that other dimension, I saw the per perversion of Madarame's heart. At the moment, the art world. <clears throat> the art room I had so much faith in was distorted by greed and unchecked desires. This is when the true ugliness of the world became clear to me. From that point forward, my brush has been stayed by cryptic hesitation. <sighs> Does pure beauty truly exist? If so, can your hands tainted by Madarami's depravity capture it? Considering such intense questions only serves to distance me from reality, doubt filled my mind. Uh, we'll be right back after these messages. <laughs> <laughs> 